on guys welcome back we've got a good one for you today we're meeting up with lunkers tv at guggen hq here in just a minute man we're taking a trip up north to wisconsin we're going to be doing some small mouth fishing on the great lakes you guys we are pumped it's probably going to be a week-long trip and we have everything laid out right here man we've got the clothes we've got the sleeping pad we're going to be camping we got the sleeping bag we've got a couple hats we got the mavic air drone we've got the dji ronin s stabilizer for some crispy little b-roll for y'all on this vacation as well as all the camera gear charging cables macbook and uh, editing tools we'll need to hopefully be able to do one video a day while we're on this trip i don't know what wi-fi is looking like i don't know what power is looking like i don't know a lot of things a lot of variables i didn't ask a lot of questions rob said he was going up north you want to go i was like yep and that was about the extent of it. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it, man. I'll catch you guys at the warehouse. All right, I think we got everything in here. Let's go ahead and get after it. Bet you Rob's gonna give me shit for how much stuff I brought. <laughs> first thing I'm, I'm thinking, first thing, which I didn't really bring that much. I don't even know what to expect, man. Come with me for a week. We don't even have a return date. We just have a departure date. And I got a feeling he's gonna say something about how much stuff I brought, we'll see. 9 a.m. Monday morning, we have arrived. We are packed up and ready to go, just waiting on LTV, man. Looks like the boat is charging. It's gonna be an interesting trip with all the new gear. Look who showed up on time, man. All right, man, I'm trying to help out a little bit, trying not slack too much. Bags are loaded, man, boat's covered. Get on the road. Leaving the old green machine here for a week or two. It's gonna be a little tight in this truck. <laughs> oh shit. Imagine if you had a bed cover, we could put more shit back there. Bulk season up in Wisconsin. We're going to Wisconsin. First stop, you probably already knew, man. Uh, arrival time ain't until 3.30 in the morning tomorrow. Anyways, so might as well take a little pit stop, grab some breakfast. Well, not breakfast. We didn't make it by 10.30. Rob's upset over here. He didn't get what he wanted. <laughs> Couldn't get his traditional pepper jack over eggs. Y'all, uh, I'm on watchdog duty, man. <laughs> Lunkers is stopping by his property real quick to check his trail cams. He's putting it in four by four. Had to drop the boat off right down the way. Let me keep a watchful eye till he gets back, and we're gonna make our way up north, man. We've crossed one state line. Stay tuned, man. It's gonna be a fun trip. Woohoo! Honky tonk, y'all. We're back in business. Let's continue the drive. I keep thinking Sweet will be there in four and a half hours, and then I look here. <laughs> Yeah. Dishing it out, boy. We yeah, the strip, the strip joint. Yeah, look, the, the, <laughs> see this cash, yo. I'm, I'm about to throw the dollar. Hey, Kim, you take some clothes off, buddy. I got the dollar bills ready. I'm going wherever my thing tells me. I'm going north to Wisconsin. <laughs> East. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Am I paying you here now? No. Okay. Here we go, man. Subway's fixing to fix us up, right? Well, y'all, the sun is setting. I just figured I'd jump on here real quick, try and find Lunker's light bulb. There it is. If I can just jump in here and adjust my bill, we should be straight, man. It's like nine o'clock at night, man, and we got about nine hours left in the drive. He's telling me he wants to get through Chicago because the traffic, terrible. Apparently this traffic is terrible. So, hey Siri, how far is Chicago? <laughs> Motherfucker. Chicago is about 336 miles away by car. I don't know how to respond to that. I have two series <laughs> responding to the same question. <laughs> 336, 336 miles. So 60 an hour, so one, two, about three, four, about five hours away from good old Chicago. We might just have to go all the way tonight, man, <laughs> if you're planning on that. Oh boy, all right, y'all making a stop about 160 miles out of Chicago, man. We're gonna try and get through the city tonight, so let's go ahead and not delay, get this gas, grab some snacks, and get back on the road. All right, man, hour two later, I don't know, 1.30 a.m., we are here at the Best Western or whatever, Rob booked us. Let's go ahead and get some shut-eye, man. I bet you five hours will do. We'll get right up, finish the rest of this three, four, five hour drive, man, and get to fishing. Let's do it. Yeah. Ooh, slow start to day two, folks. It's seven o'clock. We woke up at six, and I think we just all turned our alarms off and stayed in bed, because I don't really remember waking up at 6, went to bed at like 3, got a little editing done last night. Let's go ahead and get into day 2, man. <laughs> it's 
Starting day two off right, man. We just stopped over here at Wally World. We're heading into the market side. We got to grab some goods to eat, you know, for the trip. Uh, Wait, this shit is moving so much. It's giving me anxiety. 39.75 to 40.45 in like five minutes. Back down to 40.03. Like, Lunkers is worried about his money in the market, man. No, I'm out of the market. Well, he just pulled out of the market, but he's still he's still I concerned. Pull out game. Suddenly I'm thinking we found everything we need and then some. Should be good for a day or two. All right, man, we're, we're leaving Walmart. I don't know how much more we could put in this truck, but <laughs> let's just say camp still got a little leg space, man. We're doing things real big out here in Wisconsin. Don't try and walk under that tape either. Do not try that. She said, you gotta go all the way around. You gotta leave and go all the way back around. Oh, so you got it, you got it. oh yeah. I was I asked her, I go, so you want me to walk back and come back around? She goes, no, just next time. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you want me to leave the store and come back in to walk back through? Uh, we're pulling up to Cadoba, guys. It's one of the few places we can meet around here, and then we are going to uh, grab some tackle, get the rods, line, and hit the water, man. Got Cadoba to paradise. <laughs> I see you flexing on Chipotle. I see you. Solo Wisconsin mission. Lunkers and the camera on the way to go grab some ice, man. Everyone is sold out of ice. I don't care if it's Texas or the north. You assume they got more ice to go around up here in the north. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Starbucks, get us some coffees. We're playing the how many stops can you make before you go fishing game. Apparently the thing is too, Spencer's telling us the bite is on up here. We went fishing with Spencer last time I was up with AP. He's the guy that's letting us know what's going on with these fish. Coffee check, adobo check. Now we gotta get the line and rods we set. Sorry, didn't mean to almost hit you. My bad. <laughs> Yo, man, we have made it to Howie's Tackle and Archery. This place is hooking us up, man. They got our rods ready. They've even got the line setups for us. They're gonna be tying on the main to the leader. They're gonna be rigging it all up for us, man. Lunkers has truly got the hook up and he's extended it our way. I wanna thank you guys for watching the first episode where we just left Devin back at the house. We came up north with LTV. We're gonna get on some serious smallmouth up here, possibly even some other species, some stuff you guys have never seen on the channel before. It's gonna be a ton of fun. You guys gotta stick around for these next couple episodes. Be sure and click the notifications bell if you wanna see the rest of this adventure, man. It's gonna be a ton of fun. We got a lot ahead of us. We're gonna be rigging up some new reels that we just purchased, man, never used before. Top end Shimano spinning reels it's gonna be a ton of fun guys I can't wait to see you guys on the next couple episodes quick cut before we end today's video y'all I wanted to jump ahead a couple days actually <laughs> tell you a little bit about the gear I've been throwing so you've got some relative fishing stuff going on and uh, not just a whole lot of driving in today's vlog so I'm gonna cover what we were throwing yesterday to get on some of our first smallies of the trip man Ugh. so what was getting it done for me yesterday was a Stratic CI4 you'll notice I've got plenty of line on there We'll talk more about that in the next couple episodes. And uh, yeah, the rod, this Omen Green. I don't want to tell you too much, but this uh, Sakoshi bug was really the MVP yesterday. Ned Rig. I don't want to spoil the trip or any surprises, but this thing is pretty slick. It's a 7.7, like medium light over here. The uh, lure weight is recommended at 1 16th to 5 16th ounces, so it's a little bit different than what I'm throwing down in Texas. And I just want to jump on here and tell you a little bit about the gear since it's totally different from uh, probably what you used to see me throw. So I brought one or two casting setups. Rob was saying, you know, maybe uh, toss a jerk bait around here and there and some top water would be crazy. I don't know. Do they hit top water, Spence, or no? Like, is that like is that a thing? Not till like August. Not till August? Okay, so I saw AP and John catching them on, uh, in Maine on some buzz baits, and uh, yeah, I figured, okay, why not bring one? But yeah, we've been rocking the house with these right here. Putting in some work. You gotta spool up this bad boy. But yeah, about to get the pros breakdown right here. Rob bought some crappie gear down in Texas that he brought. <laughs> Bonehead tackle or something? Bonehead tackle. <laughs> We're using lighter line than you've ever seen, man. I'm talking about just a small little backing and then six pound braid. And I think we did a six or eight pound leader. And uh, the only way to chunk these things out there is with some uh, length on these rods and then a softer tip just to give it that extra fling, but also to help with uh, 
whenever you got one on the hook, right? Keep yeah. it tight, keep the tension. It just keeps it, well, yeah, keeps them tight. Yeah, a little bit different, man. We're learning. We are learning up north. <laughs> work, for sure. It's just a lot more finesse than like a largemouth, you know, setting. Like, honestly, you bring me down to largemouth land, I, <laughs> I mean, I could probably do okay, but I'm not going to, like, this is a totally different realm than yeah 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 like texas largemouth either any southern largemouth it's just a very very finesse slow everything down when you think you're going slow go even slower is what i tell people so we've been hearing that man yeah it's nuts dude i mean i mean we throw some drop shots we throw some dead rigs we, we mess around we dabble <laughs> but it's definitely different up here all right let's cut back into the first day i want to thank you all for all your support dms on our drive up here man i got hit by so many of you guys offering things like places to stay places to fish you guys have really been amazing and i just want to thank you i'll tell you what we're going to start this one off right here in the next episode where we get these things rigged and get to fishing man it's going to be a fun week up here we'll see you on the next one <gasps>